Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to do a full face of Merit Beauty. Merit is a clean brand and there are um, minimalistic makeup. So I love most of their products. There's a couple of them that I do use them, but they're not my go-to. And I want to thank Merit for sending me PR. They're one of the first companies that put me on their PR list. And I have received a few packages from them and I am so appreciative because I'm such a small channel that anytime I receive any products from any company, I am super, super thankful. So I'm going to show you what they sent me this time. There's also going to be a little surprise for you guys later on on the video. And let me move it up closer so that I don't forget to do this. And this is something that sent me in PR, but I really don't need it because I have most of these products. and. I'd rather share with some of you, maybe some of you have not tried Merit before, and I would love for you to give it a chance. So on this last PR that they sent me, it came in this beautiful little bag, and I think this was a limited edition bag that they had. It's like a satin, and it looks very much like the same shape as their normal signature bag. And you do get this bag with your first purchase at Merit. Now, I keep all my Merit products in here, and I do own quite a bit, bit of them. And I would say 75% of it I have purchased and the rest of it are items that they have sent me. So in this last PR, they sent me their oil, which I'm not gonna use because I already, I'm like halfway done through a bottle that I purchased myself. They sent me their Gentle Skin Priming Moisturizer. And by the way, this oil is really, really good. And it's not greasy, it's almost like, I don't wanna use it, I should have brought mine. It's almost like a dry oil, but you can use it like under your makeup and it's really not going to look greasy on your face. And if you have dry skin, this will be a beautiful product to use. So this is the Primy Moisturizing, Primy Moisturizer to use after cleansing and applying great skin serum. Massage one to two pumps into skin. Follow immediately with your next step, SPF or makeup before moisturizer dries down. So I, I don't know what the big deal is if it dries down. So I'm going to use like one and a half pumps and I'm going to use it as my moisturizer and primer because I have my serums on, but I don't have my uh, primer or I didn't put a moisturizer and I do have SPF on already. It feels like a, this is the first time I use it. It feels like a light moisturizer. It doesn't feel super heavy. Um, it's, it's unscented like most of the products. The only thing that has a scent to me, and it's not a very pleasant one, is their highlighter. But anything else that I've tried from Merit, it really doesn't have a scent. So this feels nice. They sent me in this package these two things. And then they sent me a brow pencil, which I was able to choose my shade. And I believe I have mine in dark brown. They sent me a lip oil, and I was able to choose this shade also. I have other ones, so I chose this color. They sent me their, their foundation. This is the new formula. So I have two shades of this. One I purchased, and one they sent me. This is the lighter one. Where's the darker one? You have to be careful with these. One thing that I find about their foundation, this happens to most of them. So you have to be very careful. And this is the one product that I'm actually hot and cold about it it's okay if you want to do like a quick look out the door just not give me the kind of coverage that I like so I do use it at times when I'm not going to go anywhere if I just want to throw something quick on my face but is it my favorite foundation no but if you're minimalistic if you like like light coverage then this would be perfect for you but I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and I like something like just a, with a little more coverage. It doesn't um, look heavy. It doesn't accentuate any kind of uh, texture or it doesn't really blur your pores, but I don't think it accentuates them either. But as you can see, it looks, you know, pretty light. So usually if I'm gonna use this, I like to top it with like a, a little bit of a powder foundation afterwards. And this one is in the shade, and I have several shades. This is in, it's in the shade Palomino. You can use it also as a concealer. 
but I need a little more under my eyes. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Dermalect uh, Luminous Eye Color Corrector SPF 41 under my eyes. And I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my fingertip. If I go directly from the uh, dispenser, I feel like I get too much under my eyes. So I'd rather just pour a little bit under my eyes. I mean, on my fingertip and just peeling. And I think, why are you peeling? Maybe that moisturizer made her pill. Hmm. Because I don't have a new eye cream or anything, but it pilled a little bit under this under that eye. This eye is okay. Maybe I got that moisturizer under this one and not the other one. I don't know. Now for concealer, I'm going to use my Sephora Best Skin Ever. And this is in the shade 10N. Because I need a little more, not only concealer, but I also need a little more coverage. So I'm going to put like... Just a little bit more, which is what I normally do when I use this foundation. I'm just going to use a little bit of that on my eyelid today instead of using an eye primer. So if I partner it with something like this, I like it better because I get a little more coverage. But I know a lot of people that love it. So is this is just a matter of pref preference. For my skin because I just feel like I like to cover my dark spots a little more and again it doesn't have any kind of scent or SPF or anything so you do need SPF if you're going to use their their products okay I'm going to use a little bit of the Pat McGrath under my eyes and then what I brought to set my face was my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage. This is a powder foundation. And I'm just going to take a little bit and go over my face. Now, you guys, you, you don't have to do this. This is just because I like a little more coverage than what I'm getting from this foundation. So I think that the combination of both is just the perfect fit for me. And it keeps me from getting very dewy later on. Because that's the one thing that I find about their foundations. So if I were to recommend products from, from Merit, again, the foundation stick is a matter of preference. Do you like light coverage? Do you like minimalistic makeup? Then it would be beautiful. But I love their, their blushes. They don't have the longest wear time ever, but they look nice and they wear down nicely. They don't look patchy or anything like that. I love their bronzer. I love their highlighter and I love this. This is really, really good. Their lipsticks are amazing. Their lip oils are amazing. And um, I'll show you the rest of the products as I find them. I want to try this blush, but first for bronzer, I'm going to use, this is in, in the shade Clay. And I know I put powder on already, but it's okay. It works really well over powder. It's not going to lift anything. As you can see, it looks very natural and it doesn't look too warm. It doesn't look too orangey or anything like that. I have several of their blushes. I think I have every shade that they have. I have quite a few of them. But I'm going to use this one today. This is in the, in the shade Rouge. And I just felt like using something that was like a little more red today. And I'm going to put it on the brush. I think this is a beautiful color for the fall or the winter. It's just so, so pretty. You know what? I am so silly. I'm really silly. They sent me this brush too. And I already have one that I purchased myself. So this is the second one that I have. This is for your foundation. For any of the cream products, it works beautifully. And I just forgot. But yeah, normally that's what I would use. And I would just use it for foundation and then the rest of the products. But I'm being silly and I totally forgot I had that. I'm going to take the brush that I use for my foundation and just go over this really quick. Just to make sure everything is blended. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the highlighter. And this is in the shade Bounce. And it's like a little, it has like a little bit of um 
like a rose gold kind of but what I love about this highlighter is that it's not it's almost like a balm it doesn't it's not very very bright or anything like that so if you like a see me from the moon highlighter this is not going to be for you but this does not accentuate any lines or any texture that you may have on your face it looks absolutely gorgeous and it just blends really, really, really nice. This is the one with the blush. But as you can see, it just looks like a soft glow about it. And Mary is actually having a sale right now. They're having a 20% off site white sale for Black Friday. And it's already, it already started. So I will link it below. They don't have sales very often. I think this is like the only time of the year that they're, they have sales. So if you've been wanting to try this, this brand, I would suggest that you try it now. Now the link that I'm showing, it is an affiliate link. You don't have to use it, but if you do, you will help me on my channel and I really would appreciate it. But you guys, I'm not doing this because I'm getting free products on them. This is not a sponsored video. If I get free products on them, a lot of the times I don't even know it's coming and I don't have to do a video, but I really do enjoy the brand. And I know a lot of mature women like the brand so that's why i wanted to do it so for my eyes let's do my brows first okay so i'm going to use a thin pencil um this is not very waxy i feel like it has just the right consistency it's not like super hyper pigmented you know i think it's is it easy to use it's very very thin pencil so you can do some really small strokes it really is a nice brow pencil. Now, do you need a high-end brow pencil? No. I think that brow pencils, lip liners, those are things that you can get at the drugstore for a very reasonable price. But if you want to try it, hey. I don't buy too many high-end brow pencils. Their brow gel is very nice. It is not the kind of brow gel that's going to make your brows crunchy. And they do also have it in a clear. And this is in the shade brown. For eyeshadows, I love their cream shadows. They're so easy to, do, to use. They're once they dry, they're crease free. You have enough time to blend them and then they're going to go nowhere. So I have the Vanchetta. I'm going to swatch them for you. I have three of them. This is Vanchetta. As you can see, it's a very pretty neutral, like a tan. I have this one, which is Brun, B-R-U-N, Brun. I don't know how you say that. And this is like a very, it's like a cool brown. It's also very beautiful. I'm going to use that one also. And then this one, I love using this. I can use any of them as a one shadow look. But I love using this as a one eyeshadow look. This one is social. And this one is like a cool neutral, like lavender, purple. Very, very pretty. And again, once they set, they don't go anywhere. And when you close them, you... Okay, I will get that later. When you close them, you need to make sure that they click shut so that they don't dry out. Look, even with a wipe, it's, I'm having a hard time removing them because, I mean, once they set, and this hasn't even been on my hand that long. All right, so I'm going to use, they also sent me this little brush, but they didn't send it to me this time. They sent it to me once before. I'm going to use the Vanchetta. It's not Vanchetta, it's Vachetta. I'm going to use a little bit of my Sigma. This is the eye primer in Ignite. I'm almost out of this one, but I have a backup right here on my inner corner because my inner corner is so dark that I want to lighten that up a little bit. So let's go back to the eyeshadow. So that's dry already.
because you can see how easily that blends it is absolutely like foolproof okay and once that dries it will look like this for the rest of the day okay I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation and I'm gonna use this brush right here and just set the inside of my where I put the the uh, primer just so that that looks a little lighter and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone also a little bit of the powder okay then I'm gonna take the dark brown and I'm going to take the brush same brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the outer V And again, you can use your finger, you can use your brush. I don't always use the brush. Sometimes I just use my fingers. They're easy. So it's like whatever your preference is. But this little brush or something like this. You don't have to have this one. But something that is a little denser, that is not real fluffy, works better than a fluffy brush. And I just put a little bit. I'd rather build it than put too much on and then not know what to do with it. And I just kind of go over it with my finger just to blend it out a little bit. You can also use a fluffier brush to go around the edge if you want to, you know, blend that out a little more. And like I said, it gives you enough time to work with it. And it doesn't look patchy. It's my eye that's patchy. <laughs> that spot if you're new to my channel. But you guys, this week I have gained over 200 subscribers, which that is a lot for me. So thank you so, so much if you're new to my channel. I really do appreciate it. I think some of you are here from Mona's channel. And thank you so, so much. She was nice enough to share my channel on her, one of my videos, the Patrick Ta, Patrick Ta video on her community page. And it has absolutely helped me quite a bit. I gained, like I said, over 200 subscribers this week. At first I thought, did, uh, is this a YouTube, you know, because YouTube like to play games with subscriber numbers. You know, it's like one day you have so many and then the next day you lose them and then, but no, they're still there. So I guess they're real. And that is the only thing. And I know some of you has, have told me you're here from her channel. So thank you, Mona, so, so much for doing that if you're not familiar with Mona she does a lot of new makeup reviews and um, and she does get ready with me and foundations eyeshadows all of that so I'm going to put a little bit of this brown on my lower lash line then I'm going to take the brush that, that I'm going to wipe it first take some of that dark brown off I just smudge it a little bit. I don't want it like super dark. So I'm going to link her channel below so that if you have not, um, if you don't know who Mona is, you can check her out. For mascara, I'm going to use the Huda One Coat Wow Mascara. I'm gonna do two coats and I'll be right back. Now you guys, you really don't need two coats with this mascara, but I do like dramatic uh, lashes, so that's why I put two coats on, but you really don't need it. I mean, they do call it one coat wow because that's all you need. Now, the only thing I'm gonna warn you on this, this is one of my favorite mascaras. Oops. But you have to be careful with the one. Oh, I got some on my lid. Let's let that dry. And then we'll scrape it off. This is a plastic, hard plastic wand. So if you poke yourself in the eyeball with this, you're going to feel it. So you have to be very, very careful. Okay, so I'm going to show you three lipsticks. These I purchased myself. And, okay, I had already started this video before when I was showing you the, the lipsticks on the one. I went to edit. I realized that... Um, my camera had shut off and I like six minutes of my video was not there so that's why I don't have the entire packaging for this but I was showing you on the beginning of the other video that I started the lipsticks that I purchased this is a 
release for the holidays. I'm not sure if they still have it. And it's three different formulas. This is like a balm, and this is in the shade Du Jour. And it's a signature lip blush. But this feels like kind of balmy. And this is like a very pale pink. And it looks okay on me if I use a lip liner with it. And then this one is the signature lipstick that they have, which is like a satin one. And this is in the shade Bespoke. And their lipsticks are so beautiful and so comfortable and long wearing. So that is a very, very pretty shade. And then the last one is the shade is Black Tie and it's a signature lip matte. And this one is the one that we're going to wear today. This is absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. I have a lip liner, and this is a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade Lip Cheat and Walk of Shame. This is such a beautiful red. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I love red lipsticks. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And this is definitely the kind of look that I think a red lipstick looks beautiful with. Because it's like a neutral eye. You know, it's, there's not that much going on in the eyes. And the, the lipstick looks absolutely gorgeous. So let me have a little speck there. Let me see if I can remove the mascara. Gone. Yeah, that's the best way to remove mascara, okay? You wait until it's absolutely dry and then you just find either a Q-tip or I like to use a spoolie. So I love the packaging of the lipsticks and as you can see, they're each, each one of them is different depending on the formula of the lipstick but these are gorgeous and if this is still available this is a good buy because you can get it at a discounted price if you buy the the set so this is the completed look i love this i think it's gorgeous now if you're the type of person that likes doesn't like a matte lip i'm going to put a little bit of the lip oil on top but i'm fine with a matte lip And I'm going to wipe my brush because I don't want to get some of that lipstick in there. But especially with a red lip, I'd rather have a matte lip because it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay put. But it looks beautiful with a little bit of lip oil on top. So Merit also sent me their new fragrance. And normally they just sent me an email whenever they're going to mail something to me. And that's how I know that something's on the way. And this time I just received a package and I was so surprised. This is their new fragrance. It's called Retrospect and it came in this beautiful box like this. And then it also comes with a coffee table book that tells you all about the fragrance. And let me show you. Now when you get it from them, I'm not sure. I know it's available at Sephora also so I will link it in both places. But Merit is having a 20% off sale right now. So if you're interested, I will get it through Merit. But look how beautiful this is. This is so, so beautiful. And the way that they designed this is so that it would fit in the palm of your hand. And I just think it's beautiful. So let me read to you a little bit about the fragrance. Retrospect was shaped by the idea of perspective. A campaign built around the voices and views of the women who inspire us. In collaboration with The Gentlewoman, we've created a limited edition coffee table book to celebrate the vision, a curated collection that explores the art of fragrance and its deep connection to memory, featuring essays, images, and stories for our muses. It's a reflection of their individual experiences with fragrance, both past and present. So I don't know if they would send the book to everyone. Modern fragrances are designed to go viral, to sew quickly and fade just as fast. Complexity and craftsmanship has, have given way to wardrobe of one note scents made for short-lived trends. But fragrance was supposed to be different from the rest of the beauty. It's the one product that doesn't change how you look, but it does change how you feel. And when was the last time your fragrance made you feel something? Retrospect is a return to fragrance the way it used to be made. It's rich, nuanced scent that isn't confined to a singular moment or mood. 
So it's not just a scent for right now, but something you'll keep coming back to. Long lasting, complex, and crafted with clean ingredients, it's new perspective on modern fragrance. The notes on these, the top notes are bergamot, pear, ambrette, and aldehydes. I don't know what aldehydes are. The mid notes are jasmine, rose, rosemary, violet, and orris. And the bottom notes are vanilla, musk, and moss. Okay, this is a type of fragrance that I love. Now, I don't like rose scented fragrances. I'm not too much into the very flowery perfumes. I like more like gourmand, you know, vanilla, musk, things like that. And this is amazing. Okay, this is long lasting. It smells so good. It's not overpowering. It's not overly sweet. Like I said, I don't smell, I don't smell the rose. I smell the, or the, the jasmine, really. What I smell more is like the vanilla musk, the warm notes in it. But this, this is so good. It is such a beautiful packaging. This will make an amazing gift for someone. And the bottle says Merit on it. But this is beautiful. So I am so, so appreciative of Merit sending this to me comes in a beautiful box that says Merit on it and then mine came inside this box so I would say it probably does come in this and it comes this is a, a full size and this is the one ounce 30 ml I will link it below in case you're interested again I will link it at Sephora and on Merit but like I said Merit is having 20 percent so if this is something you want to give to someone a lot of people like clean scents and sometimes it's hard to find clean scents that will last on you. I find that a lot of the clean scents out there, they don't last that long on my body. I'll, I'll spray them and then it's like I have to continue to spray them because they don't last. This one lasts. It's made with essential oils, so it really does a long time on my body. And this is the book that they sent me and I've looked through it, but I haven't really read the whole thing. But I thought it was so, so nice for them to include that. You guys... I have a giveaway for you. They sent me this in PR, and in this, the, it has a clear brow gel. This is a lip liner, which I don't see lip liners in the website, so I don't know if this is something that they're thinking about bringing into the website. And then they have a mini mascara, a mini lip oil, and then they have one of their eyeshadows. And I don't have this shade, but I decided I'm not gonna keep it. Look how pretty it is, though. This is in the shade Glacé. This is gorgeous. And it looks like it's got like a little bit of glow. No glitter or shimmer, but it looks like it's, it's got like a little bit of glow. It doesn't look like it's matte. So I'm going to be giving this out to one of you guys. So in order to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel publicly. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that your, your channel is set on public so that I can verify that you are subscribed to me. You need to like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know have you tried Merit and let me know if you want to enter the giveaway. I want to give this to someone that is subscribed to my channel. You guys are so, so loyal and I love the fact that you support my channel. If you have been with me for a long time and we know each other through the chats, through the comments, then I don't care if your channel is public or not because I know you. So I'm only going to leave this open for a week. So I will put the date where the uh, giveaway will end. You have 48 hours to claim your prize. And normally the way that I let you know if you won is in the comment that you leave below in the comment section, I will let you know that you won. And all I will tell you is either email me or message me through Instagram with your full name and address so that I can ship this to you. I'm not gonna ask you for postage. I'm not going to ask you for any more information, just your name and address. That's it. Sometimes we have some spam that is telling you that you won and something about money orders. And No, that's not me. I'm just going to say, hey, congratulations. You won my giveaway. You know, con contact me through my email, which is always listed below, or through Instagram. You have to be 18 years old or older. You have to live in the United States. Uh, once I ship this, if it's lost, stolen, or damaged, I am not responsible. Anyway, good luck, you guys. I love to see one of you guys win. This is so exciting for the holidays. I like to do little things like that. But anyways, this is it. Let me know what you think of Merit. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Once again, Merit, thank you so, so much for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it. You have no idea how much it means for me to get some PR from you guys. 
and especially when it's a brand that I enjoy I support myself because I buy a lot of products from them and you guys know me if I don't like something I'm gonna tell you like you know like this is like I use it but it's not my favorite product from them okay the rest of it I do love but th this is just and again it's not the product it's not a bad product it's just that I like more coverage on my face but if I use it in combination with the way I did today it works just fine all right you guys once again thank you so much for being with me I love you and I will see you on my next video bye guys Mwah.